The fossilized remains of ancient marine creatures, often referred to as Egypt's walking whales, offer a fascinating glimpse into life 37 million years ago. In the Wadi El Hayton, or Valley of the Whales, located in Egypt's Sahara Desert, dozens of fossilized bones have been unearthed, including the largest intact Basilosaurus Isis skeleton ever discovered. This remarkable find, measuring over 65 feet 20 meters, long, has become the centerpiece of the newly inaugurated Fossils and Climate Change Museum. The site where these fossils were uncovered was once a vast prehistoric ocean teeming with life. Over millions of years, receding sea levels and shifting landmasses transformed this area into the arid desert landscape it is today. The Basilosaurus Isis, an early-legged whale, provides crucial insights into the evolutionary journey from land mammals to modern-day whales. Its distinctive limbs, resembling legs, mark a pivotal stage in the adaptation of terrestrial creatures to aquatic life. The $2.17 billion, T's $1.5 billion, museum has been constructed to safeguard these invaluable relics. Designed by architect Gabriel McHale, the sand-colored, dome-shaped building harmonizes with the surrounding desert, reflecting a commitment to preserving nature's beauty. So when you build something in such a stunning and unique location, it must blend in with its surroundings, Mikhail explained, emphasizing the importance of sustainable architecture. Inside the museum, fossilized remains are displayed in glass cases alongside Stone Age artifacts, suggesting that early humans once inhabited the region. Visitors can marvel at the awe-inspiring Basilosaurus Isis fossil, which has been meticulously preserved to help paleontologists piece together the evolutionary history of Simai. The Valley of the Whales holds immense scientific value, not only for understanding whale evolution but also for studying environmental changes over millions of years. The discovery of these fossils sheds light on how terrestrial mammals transitioned into marine giants, adapting to their new aquatic habitats. This evolution illustrates the interconnectedness of life and environmental shifts, revealing how species respond to changing climates. Ministers in Egypt hope the museum will attract visitors from around the globe, bolstering the country's tourism industry. The region, which has faced challenges due to prolonged instability, is now positioned as a hub for both scientific discovery and cultural heritage. The story of Wadi El Hidden goes beyond the fossils themselves, intertwining the ancient past with the mysteries of evolution and Earth's shifting landscapes. The Basilosaurus Isis, the star attraction of the museum, is a testament to a transformative period in history when terrestrial mammals began their transition to life in the oceans. This early species of walking whale had vestigial limbs, indicating its ability to maneuver on land, a trait that would gradually diminish as later whale species became fully aquatic. The discovery of this remarkable fossil in the dry sands of Egypt's Sahara Desert is both surprising and significant. So millions of years ago, this desert was submerged under a vast prehistoric ocean. Sea levels fell and the land rose, the ocean receded, leaving behind a treasure trove of fossils hidden beneath layers of sediment. Today, these remnants provide invaluable clues to the marine ecosystems that once thrived in this now arid region. The museum housing these fossils is more than a repository of ancient bones. It serves as a bridge between past and present, offering visitors a unique opportunity to witness the evolutionary journey of life on Earth. Design blending seamlessly with the desert ensures that it does not disrupt the natural beauty of the Valley of the Whales. According to Gabriel Mikhail, the architect behind the project, preserving the integrity of this UNESCO World Heritage Site was paramount. To construct something that doesn't harmonize with this environment would be a crime against nature, he stated. Beyond its architectural significance, the museum's exhibits delve into the evolutionary history of whales and the climatic changes that shaped their journey. Visitors are not only drawn to the enormous Basilosaurus Isis fossil, but also to the smaller Dordon fossils, which represent another ancient whale species. Together, these exhibits paint a vivid picture of the transition from land to sea, a journey that spanned millions of years. The Valley of the Whales is not just a site of paleontological importance, but also a beacon for modern science. The fossils here help scientists trace the progression of environmental shifts from lush forests to arid deserts. This transformation mirrors the broader changes that occurred globally, influencing not just marine life but also the evolution of primates and, eventually, humans. The Wadi El Hitan Museum also highlights the connection between these ancient marine giants and the broader story of Earth's history. Among the fossilized treasures displayed are tools and artifacts from the Stone Age, indicating that humans inhabited as their region thousands of years ago when the environment was drastically different. 
These remnants provide a glimpse into how early humans adapted to the changing landscape, just as the prehistoric whales once adapted to their shifting aquatic habitats. Paleontologists are particularly fascinated by the Basilosaurus Isis and Dordon fossils, as these species represent a crucial stage in the evolutionary path of modern whales. The Basilosaurus, with its elongated body and leg-like limbs, was not yet fully adapted to life in the ocean but had already begun leaving its terrestrial origins behind. And meanwhile, the smaller Dorian, also on display, showcases traits that more closely resemble those than Pimperprey whales. Together, these fossils offer a timeline of evolutionary changes that occurred over millions of years. So the significance of these discoveries extends beyond the Valley of the Whales. Similar finds in other parts of the world, such as the fossilized remains of ancient whales discovered in Skirkana Desert, have helped scientists map the environmental and evolutionary changes that shaped Earth's history. For instance, a 17-million-year-old beaked whale fossil found in the Turkana region offers insights into when East Africa began its transformation from a lush, forested landscape to the dry, open savanne as we know today. This change played a pivotal role in human evolution as it forced primates to adapt to grasslands, eventually leading to bipedalism. Back in Egypt, the Wadi El Heaton Museum also serves a strategic purpose for the country's economy. So officials hope that the museum will attract international visitors, providing a much-needed boost to Egypt's tourism industry, which has faced significant challenges in recent years. From political instability to tragic events like the suspected terrorist bombing of a Russian airliner over the Sinai Peninsula in 2015, Egypt's tourism sector has struggled to recover. So the museum, with its unique focus on fossils and climate change, offers a fresh and scientifically rich attraction that could draw a new wave of visitors. The exhibits inside the museum are thoughtfully curated to balance scientific rigor with accessibility for a general audience. Fossilized remains are displayed in glass cases, while interactive elements and detailed explanations guide visitors through the evolutionary journey of whales. This approach ensures that the museum appeals to both researchers and casual tourists, making it a versatile destination. The unveiling of the Wadi El Hedon Fossils and Climate Change Museum marks a significant step in preserving and showcasing one of the world's most extraordinary paleontological sites. The museum's sand-colored, dome-shaped structure not only protects the fragile fossils from environmental damage but also blends harmoniously into the breathtaking desert lantern, embodying a commitment to conservation and sustainability. Visitors entering this architectural marvel are greeted with a journey through time from the prehistoric ocean that once covered this region to the arid desert it is today. So one of the most striking aspects of the museum is its centerpiece, the largest intact Basilosaurus Isis fossil ever discovered. The sheer size of this 65-foot-long skeleton captivates visitors, offering a tangible glimpse into the ancient world. Known as the walking whale for its leg-like limbs, the Basaros represents a crucial evolutionary stage, bridging the gap between terrestrial mammals and fully aquatic whales. Nearby, the Dordone fossils, though smaller, add depth to the narrative, showing a more advanced stage in the transition to modern whales. For scientists, these fossils provide invaluable insights into how species adapt to environmental shifts over millions of years. So the presence of limb-like structures on these ancient whales suggests they were capable of moving on land, albeit clumsily, while gradually evolving to thrive in aquatic environments. These findings help researchers piece together the evolutionary puzzle of how land mammals ventured into the oceans and eventually gave rise to the modern whales we see today. Significance of Wadi El Haydn extends beyond its scientific value. The museum aims to inspire a deeper understanding of how climate change has shaped life on Earth. The region's transformation from a lush ocean habitat to an arid desert mirrors the global environmental changes that have occurred throughout Earth's history. By studying these shifts, scientists can better understand current climate trends and predict future ecological impacts. Architect Gabriel Mikhail's design of the museum ensures that the structure itself becomes part of the narrative. Its understated elegance and desert-like hues allow the building to blend seamlessly into the natural surroundings, preserving the integrity of this UNESCO World Heritage Site. When you build in a place as unique as Wadi El Hedon, it's essential to honor its beauty, Mikhail explained, reflecting the philosophy behind the project. Beyond its scientific and architectural achievements, the museum also offers us a glimpse into the cultural history of the region. Artifacts from the Stone Age displayed alongside the fossils reveal that early humans once thrived in this area, coexisting with the remnants of an ancient marine world. 
the Wadi El Heaton Fossils and Climate Change Museum not only showcases the marvels of ancient marine life, but also connects visitors to the broader story of Earth's evolving ecosystems. The museum's displays include detailed explanations of how the region transitioned from a prehistoric ocean into the desert landscape it is today. So this transformation was driven by falling sea levels and shifting tectonic plates, events that left behind a rich archive of fossils buried beneath the sand. One particularly fascinating aspect of the museum is its focus on the role of climate change in shaping both the natural world and human history. By studying the fossils in Wadi El Hedin, scientists have uncovered evidence of how species adapted or failed to adapt to changing environments. So the Zalosaurus Isis, for instance, represents a species that thrived during its time, gradually evolving to dominate the ancient oceans. Its fossils, along with those of the Dorodon, provide a snapshot of life during a period period of significant environmental flux. For visitors, the museum offers an interactive experience that brings this ancient world to life. Beyond the fossils, displays feature digital reconstructions and animations showing how these marine stethot creatures would have looked and moved in their natural habitat. Educational programs and guided tours further enhance the experience, making the museum a valuable resource for schools, researchers, and tourists alike. The museum also emphasizes the importance of protecting natural heritage sites. By housing many of the fossils within its dome-shaped structure, the museum shields them from the elements, ensuring their preservation for future generations. However, some fossils remain in their original locations in the desert, allowing visitors to see them as they were discovered emerging from the shifting sands of the Egyptian Sahara. The Valley of the Whales is a treasure trove not only for paleontologists but also for those interested in understanding the interplay between Earth's geological history and the evolution of life. The fossils here demonstrate the adaptability of life, from the walking whales of 37 million years ago to the humans who eventually inhabited the area. Tools and artifacts from the Stone Age provide age provide evidence of early human presence, showing how people made use of the resources in what was once a fertile environment. So museum's opening also underscores a broader effort to link Egypt's rich natural history with its cultural and scientific heritage. By situating the Wadi El Hedon Fossils and Climate Change Museum within a UNSCO World Heritage Site, officials aim to promote environmental awareness and highlight the interconnectedness of ancient life and modern challenges. Significance of the Basilosaurus Isis and Doridan fossils lies not just in their sheer size and completeness, but also in what they reveal about the evolutionary journey of marine mammals. Scientists believe that the walking whale represents a critical transition from land-dwelling mammals to aquatic creatures, bridging the gap between ancient land species and modern whales. The vestigial limbs of the Basilosaurus serve as a reminder of its terrestrial ancestry, while its elongated body and aquatic adaptations hint at its eventual dominance in the oceans. Beyond its scientific and architectural achievements, the museum was also a testament to Egypt's ongoing commitment to preserving its heritage. By investing $2.17 billion, piece 1.5 billion, in the construction of the museum, Egypt has created not only a sanctuary for fossils, but also a center for education and research. Paleontologists from around the world have already begun collaborating with local scientists to further study the fossils, hoping to uncover more about the evolutionary paths of early whales and the environmental conditions that shaped their development. As Egypt continues to promote Wadi El Hitan as a global tourist destination, the museum also serves as a powerful symbol of resilience. Despite the challenges the country has faced, including political instability and security concerns, the museum stands as a beacon of hope for revitalizing the nation's tourism industry. The Wadi El Heaton Fossils and Climate Change Museum is not just a scientific marvel but also a reflection of how understanding the past can inform the present. The fossils on display provide an unparalleled glimpse into a world that existed millions of years ago long before humans walked the earth. They tell the story of adaptation, survival, and transformation lessons that are particularly relevant in today's context of rapid environmental change. The centerpiece of the museum, the Basilosaurus Isis fossil, is a striking reminder of nature's evolutionary ingenuity. Its elongated form and limb-like structures illustrate how life experimented with form and function, transitioning from land to sea. While the Basilosaurus thrived in its aquatic environment, its anatomy hints at a terrestrial past where its ancestors roamed on land. This duality makes the fossil a focal point for understanding the broader narrative of life's evolution. Alongside the Basilosaurus, the smaller Dorodon fossils offer further clues about the evolutionary path of marine mammals. 
Unlike the Basilosaurus, the Dordan shows more advanced aquatic adaptations, lacking the leg-like structures that hint at a land-dwelling ancestry. Together, these fossils provide a timeline of how species adapted to changing ecosystems, paving the way for the fully aquatic whales that dominate today's oceans. For visitors, the experience is more than just observing fossils, it's about connecting with a deeper story. Exhibits at the museum use state-of-the-art technology, including virtual reality and interactive displays, to bring the prehistoric world to life. So these features allow visitors to visualize how these ancient creatures moved, hunted, and interacted in their environment. By immersing visitors in this world, the museum fosters a sense of wonder and curiosity about Earth's history. The so museum's role extends beyond education and tourism. It serves as a research hub, attracting scientists from around the globe to study the fossils of Wadi El Heaton. These researchers are not only piecing together the evolutionary history of whales, but also exploring how past climate shifts influenced life on Earth. The findings from this work have implications for understanding today's climate challenges and predicting future changes. As much as the museum celebrates the past, it also looks forward, aiming to inspire conservation efforts and environmental stewardship. The story of Wadi El Hedon is a testament to the impact of climate change over millions of years, showing both the resilience and vulnerability of life. By preserving and showcasing these fossils, Egypt is making a statement about the importance of protecting our planet's heritage for future generations. With its stunning exhibits, innovative architecture, and global significance, the Wadi El Hitin Fossils and Climate Change Museum is poised to become a landmark destination. It bridges the ancient and the modern, the scientific and the cultural, offering something for everyone whether they are tourists seeking wonder, scientists pursuing knowledge, or citizens inspired to take action for the environment.